this is definitely going to be the hardest part of the build and I'm not even really talking about the vent fan although these rivets that they used have not exactly been fun to deal with all right here comes the fun part Before continuing on, I do want to give a special thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. A VPN is a virtual private network, and for us, it's a way to connect to the internet securely and encrypt our information so that we can browse the internet in peace, particularly when we're using public Wi-Fi. A lot of the time, we'll use public Wi-Fi these days from like a Starbucks parking lot, not necessarily the actual Starbucks location, but you know, it definitely helps with that. It's also just good to have that extra peace of mind to know that your information is encrypted and protected. I think one of my favorite features of the Surfshark VPN is that it actually allows you to spoof your location. So you can connect to servers all throughout the world, anywhere in the UK or in Australia, in Nigeria, I mean, literally everywhere. That's really useful if you're doing things like trying to buy flight tickets. A lot of the time there is price discrimination that goes on. If you use a VPN, it can definitely help with that sort of thing. It's also good for watching Netflix and things like that as well, streaming services. You can actually check out what streaming services look like on the other side of the world and all you have to do is click a button. Surfshark VPN is pretty awesome guys. I would definitely recommend checking them out. They also come with a 30 day money back guarantee if you are not satisfied. If you use the promo code EVL and follow the link in the description below, you'll get an 83% discount on an annual subscription to the Surfshark VPN service as well as three additional months for free. Thank you again Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Now here comes the real fun part. I don't actually know if the new Max Air fan is gonna fit. It seems like it's the same size. We measured it as much as we could, but this thing's 25 years old and it was installed on the other side of the world. So could be like a centimeter or two off, right? Whew. Like weirdly nervous right now. Uh... No problem. No reason to worry. Pretty sure these sizes are standard, regardless of where you are on planet Earth. I said I feel like a scientist. So precise. Maybe a sculptor. quite literally ran out of daylight here. Didn't really finish everything. We do got to put a little bit of caulk around the edges and then we're gonna add it to the screws as well. Just a little bit of a lap sealant. We're gonna use a die core and then should be good to go. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Fortunately though, it is not gonna rain tonight. There is a 0% chance of rain every hour of the night. We have not had many dry nights like that with 0% chance of rain and really low humidity. We're gonna try to take advantage of the next couple of days. It's supposed to be beautiful. Try to get as much done on the van as we can. So the vent fan is installed pretty much 100%. We do have to add a few pieces, obviously, get it all wired in and everything like that. But that's going to come after we finish with the next part, which is what I was talking about when I said that it was going to be the hardest part of the build. This ceiling here, guys, has a lot of weird contours, a lot of weird shapes. We do have a pretty good plan for what we're going to try to do. We do have to run to Lowe's, though. I actually just went there this morning, and now we have to go back. But this time, we're going to have to take the van because we're going to buy all the paneling for the ceiling and then we're gonna, our plan is to do all blocking. Brian kind of helped us out with this and Kelly and then Shannon came up with a pretty good idea to try to cut it with templates that she made from cardboard. I've been envisioning how we're going to run the ceiling and how we're gonna install blocking. And I've narrowed it down to five planes that we need to cover. Plane one is this plane, which can only go up this high because of this support. Plane two spans 
this to the window crease and all the way to the front. Plane five is the entire roof. Wait, three. <laughs> Plane three. Uh, four is another one on this side and then five goes up here. So it's gonna be a project, but it should work. We're gonna glue them with a construction strength adhesive straight to the ceiling. We did a little test one right here and that thing is not moving. So that's our plan of action. It's time to get going. Oh, we made it. <laughs> wall one down eight more. million to go <laughs> So just to clarify, our plan is to use these pieces here as blocking and then screw our walls and our ceiling into them. So we're gonna use a construction strength adhesive to attach it to the fiberglass. And then we are gonna stuff insulation in between all of these, essentially giving us like studs, I guess. One thing we are gonna do though, instead of using wood screws to attach our walls and ceiling to these blocks, uh, we're gonna use rivet nuts. This is another thing that Lex really likes to do, kind of taking it straight out of his book but it just kind of makes it a little bit better long-term. I find that having rivet nuts in there allows you to be able to take it down and put it back. Heaven forbid we have a leak issue or something with this old fiberglass top, just makes it really easy to disassemble if we ever want to change anything up. I'm gonna get started on that. Once we get those all installed, we'll be able to glue these things to the ceiling. So most of the blocking here is installed, basically the entire foundation for the ceiling and then the sidewall. And then we have zone two and zone four, as Shannon likes to call it. So we're gonna, like we said, break it up into five zones. We got this one here, then this section, then the ceiling, then this section right here, and then the one below it. Right now, I'm gonna work on the template for the section that goes below zones one and zones five. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna reuse what they already have here this little thing, and then we're gonna extend it up above this point, maybe about six, eight inches or so, and run it all the way across. We're just gonna take a, you know, an eight foot sheet of plywood. I'm not even gonna to have to really cut it, just gonna to have to cut it going horizontally, but not vertically. You know, we're not gonna just leave the bare plywood though. We're eventually gonna cover it up with something, basically whatever Shannon wants to cover it up with. The idea is just to actually get the wall piece done, all the holes drilled in the right spot so we can clip it in and take it out and screw it into the rivet nuts. After I finish this part, then I'm gonna to try to move on to the ceiling. Cardboard template worked out pretty well. We are not gonna leave this as our ceiling. It's just temporary. The biggest thing was trying to figure out where the screw holes are. I don't know if we would have been able to do this with something as thick as the actual ceiling that we're planning to use. So this definitely helped us out quite a bit here. And now we gotta take it down. I'm gonna trace it on the piece that we're gonna use, cut it all out with the jigsaw and hope for the best.
the video makes it look a little bit easier than it actually was. We had to take this out a bunch of times, recut this hole, try to get it to the right size, trying to line up all these little screw holes. The template wasn't perfect because it was a little wobbly on the cardboard, so definitely was quite a bit of trial and error, and it's still not really perfect in here. I'm happy with it, I think it's okay, but you know, there's a couple sections that are a little bit low or a little bit higher. It is pretty solid though. It's not gonna go anywhere, that's for sure. By the way, we are working around a lot of these metal pieces that are already in the van. This was for the light that dropped down previously. We're gonna reuse it, probably put some more lights in there. We just, we can't really get them out. Like this is fiberglassed into the top, guys. This is actually welded in this little part right here because it was for the upper bunk bed that was in here. So we're just gonna have to work around them, but we're gonna figure out uses for them. Like we're gonna reuse all the storage here. We're gonna try to figure out a way to mount shelving to these welded in supports right here. So just makes it fun. Kind of adds to the build, I guess. Making some progress here. These last two pieces along the sides were pretty brutal. It was uh, it was kind of a rough morning. I was kind of losing my mind a little bit, but just a lot of like going and cutting it again and then putting it up and then cutting it again and then putting it up again. And, then and we made templates and everything, but just this wood reacted a little differently than the material that we used for the template. So should be good though. We're gonna make it look pretty obviously guys. We're gonna add all kind of trim shin and has some really good ideas for kind of covering up some of the gaps and obviously we're gonna sand it and paint it. We're also planning to replace this trim here. This is the original 25 year old trim so we, we got something different, something that's newer, a little bit cleaner. Probably reupholster the inside of these cubbies and then we're also we actually bought some vinyl that we're gonna use to wrap all of this section here and like kind of as like an accent piece. We actually went with a green. It's like a forest green. It looks pretty cool so Got a lot of different ideas. We're gonna paint this all white. Uh, that's kind of the goal right now. We have to do the back piece. We gotta get the flange for the uh, Max Air fan in. We're gonna do a light fixture here. This is, there's a whole bunch to do. I'm pretty excited though. It's like, it's starting to come along in here. And you know, once we get all of this stuff done and then start doing the wiring as well, get everything set up for that, then we'll be able to move on to building out the, uh, the actual furniture, the bed and the kitchen area. We already have all the appliances, the fridge is here, the oven is here. So it's just a matter of getting it all in here. That'll all be part of the next few videos though, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all in the next one. This is a lot more fun if you pretend like it's fun. Huh.